What's up, family and friends? Welcome to the Woke Nation, our nation of fact of truth. We are with you to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of fact of truth without fear, without favor, and without things. We have encouraged us to live our lives and live it well through the knowledge of fact of truth because it's our life. And personally, I encourage you to enjoy your life wherever you are. Of course, you know that I'm in my village. In uh, Aguata, local government area, the Aguala, that's where I am at the moment. I'm, I'm in my own compound. Okay, so and, um, I want to share with us what I titled Faith and the Beliefs. Faith and Beliefs. Uh, uh, last week in Lagos, I was, um, as I said, uh, you know, talking with some things. Then one of them, like, you know, he showed interest, like, uh, he believed there is God, and uh, everybody said, uh, he made a statement, he said, no matter what, you know, when you get to certain place, you will know there is God. I said, no. That's what they taught you. That's the fear you grew up with. They make you think, they tell you some people who say there is no God, certain things happen to them, at their deathbed, they confess bullshit, man. But they will tell you what the things, what the ministers of God are confessing at their deathbed. They don't know themselves, but they claim to know others. That's what they are. Believers in God, worshippers of God, followers of God, defenders of God, fighters for God. All of them, what they have is faith and belief. And every faith is rooted in fear. And you know, belief is also rooted in confession. So he said that, uh, you know, everybody has belief. I said, I don't have belief. I don't have a belief. I have knowledge. I don't need belief. Why should I believe when I need to know? He said, but you, you must believe in yourself. I said, I don't believe in myself. I know myself. I know who I am. I don't need anyone to tell me who I am. I am woke. I am African. And I, 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 am, I am not going to apologize for it. No matter what, even at the gunpoint, I will never apologize for being African, for being woke. I, I will not continue in the cycle of lies and deceptions that my parents raise me in. They raise me based on what they also taught them. Faith and belief without knowledge. So believers have faith and belief. They lack knowledge and the solution. That's why when virus comes up, none of them can cure it, none of them can heal it, although they claim that God and Jesus have all the power to do all those things. Then they wait for science to come up with vaccine or with solution. Then they jump in there saying, yeah, God is the one that gave them that. God is the one that did that. Bullshit. Uh, uh, yesterday evening, I went to buy uh, something at the market square there. This guy knew me very well. He was there on Sunday when I was having my event. So, you know, they were playing gospel music there, you know. They were singing that Jehovah can do all things. I said, okay, let Jehovah give you money so you stop suffering. They know me very well in my village here, in this area. They know me very well. And when I come out, I know I did. I say, why should I be hiding when I'm the one that knows the truth? I know they don't know the truth. They only have faith and belief. They're the one that's supposed to be ashamed. Why am I the one who know what the white people did to us? Who's supposed to be ashamed. No, they are the ones that are supposed to be ashamed who embrace what white people give to us as our truth or as the truth. So the guy, he was, he's, 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 I think he has a, 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 some problem with his legs. Uh, he said he don't know what happened. And so he's walking with a cane. Then he said, yeah, you know, uh, somebody said, you know, God, I said, God, don't give money. He said, no, God gives money. When you walk, that's how God gives you money. I say, no, you walk. You made it. It's not any God. So when I was about to go, he said, please, can you give me some money? I say, no, let God give you the money. I enter the bike and get out. 
there's our people. So that guy in Lagos said that, uh, you know, maybe I'm in denial. I said, in denial for what? There is nothing God can do to us. They turn the fire God, whatever God is. If there is God, let God do anything. He cannot do anything. But you can do anything. You can slap me, you can beat me, you can kill me. But God cannot do any of those things. So he said, no, everybody. I said, okay, what is the definition of belief? Here can. I open my phone, Google, and I could believe. I gave it to him to read. So belief is accept that something is true, especially without proof. That's what belief is all about. When you say you believe in God, you accept there is God without proof. When you say there is Jesus, or Jesus died for you, or Jesus is coming again, or Jesus died for the sins of the world, you accept it to be true without proof. That's why when you ask them for proof, what will they tell you? The Bible says. They say, oh no, God created me. I say, okay, did God tell you that? No, your parents tell you they born you. They give you the death, they born you. So give me the death God created you. They cannot. All they have is the Bible say. All they have is the Quran say. All they have is Torah say. They don't have proof for their belief. You cannot believe something and claim to, to know it. It's impossible. You can never have knowledge with faith or in faith. There is no knowledge in faith. That's why you cannot find truth in it. There is no knowledge in belief. That's why you cannot find truth in it, but you can find lie in it. L-I-E. So the guy read it, you know, he, he began to try to save himself. I know already. I was in shoe. I used to be a minister of the gospel. I used to be a Christian. So in case if this thing interrupt, so he showed me low, 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 low network. So don't worry about that. It comes to continue. So when he read it, I tell him, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not preaching to you as believers do. They don't know what they preach. They preach because they tell them they go and win souls. When there is no soul, they go out preaching bullshit. When you ask them questions about their faith, they say you are carnal. They say you need the Holy Spirit. They say you don't understand the things of God. How can you tell me I don't understand the things of God when I'm asking you a question? If the things of God, if, if you understand it, I can understand it. But if you say I cannot understand it, then explain it to me. That's what teachers do. If students don't understand what you are teaching, you explain it to the student. You don't tell them, no, you are not go ahead. You are poor, you know, yeah. No. That's what makes a teacher a teacher. But look at those teaching the word of God. Teaching that God called them to do. You ask them common sense questions, they go off chain. And they begin to run so like a mad person. So I just use Google to make him see you are defending what you don't know. You are defending the indefensible. You cannot say there is God and you cannot show me that God. He said God cannot be seen. Then if God cannot be seen, God cannot be worshipped. If God cannot be seen, God cannot be feared. Why are you afraid of what or who you can you have not seen at all? Just because your parents taught you so. Just because somebody taught you so. Nobody has seen God at any time. John chapter 1 verse 18. Including Jesus in the Bible. That's why when Philip asked Jesus to show them his father, Jesus failed to show them his father. Because there's no such thing as God or Jesus anywhere. Only in the book. But most people are dying for the book somebody wrote, for the character somebody created. Also, I went to buy uh, some elect uh, electronics uh, at Oga this morning. So the guy selling it to me, an elderly woman who is disabled, she's not working well, approached him and said, have you said anything today? The guy was fixing the thing I bought. You know, he didn't even allow the guy to respond. He said, have you said anything today? You will say something there in Jesus' name. I said, Jesus cannot make him sell anything. If he get the product people need, he will sell. The woman was shocked. She freezed. She looked at me and the way I look, she said, no, she cannot stop me. She just told the other guy, I walk away. And I begin to tell them the bullshit. All that. So one of the things that guy told me, like I told him, you are a young guy. 
begin to use their smartphone to research everything they taught you, research them. They lie to you. Huh? So you say, oh, you are, you, are, you are saying the truth to my master because he's serving somebody in the store. He said, my master took away my smartphone. He said that they are deceiving us. I said, yeah, they will tell you to read the Bible, but they will not ask you to use the Google. They will not ask you to do research. And that's how they raise us up. They raise us in a lie called the Bible. They raise us in a lie called Quran. They raise us in a lie called Torah. They raise us in a lie called the Word of God. The God they have not seen. Nobody preaching God has seen God at any time. They are lying. So anybody that says there is God, that person is a liar. That's false witness, a liar. So that's all they have. Believe and the faith. They don't have knowledge. Also, when you talk about faith, I say, okay, let's go again. What is the definition of faith or the meaning of faith? He said, uh, complete trust or confidence in someone or something. I brought it up because he said he don't trust anybody. But he said, you know, he don't trust anybody, but he have faith. I said, how can you say you don't trust anybody when you have faith in God? Faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Complete trust. That's, you blind, that's why some people call it blind faith. Faith is blind. And faith does not work in reality. That's why they tell you faith without works is dead. So you don't need faith. You need what? It's people that work that can eat. Nobody can walk by faith and survive. Nobody. That's why the ministers of God are liars and thieves. They are telling people that are walking by faith when they're collecting money from people. They are telling people that are walking by faith when they are investing in business and making money. Nobody is living by faith. Anybody living by faith is faking it. They are not telling you the truth. They will tell you, don't smoke, don't do this, don't do that, but they are being worse. So that's all they have faith, complete trust and confidence in God they have not seen and cannot see. Complete trust in, in, and the confidence in God and Jesus they cannot see. And they are happy. I call them happy slaves. So that's what they have. They become bold, ignorant fools, happy slaves. First Peter chapter 1 verse 8. Jesus, they have not seen the law. Jesus, they cannot see. They believe and they rejoice. He said, "What?" He said, "Their joy cannot be told. Unspe unspeakable joy. That's all they have, but they don't have proof. That stays for you. They don't have knowledge. They don't have solution. For you to have solution to any problem, you must have knowledge how to solve it. For you to succeed." In any business, you must have knowledge on how to do that business. If you lack knowledge of it, you will not prosper in that business. Of course, their Bible said that their God said that his children, you know, are his people, his own people are perished for lack of knowledge. They don't have knowledge. All they have is faith and belief. And they want you to say, believe that that knowledge or that I mean that faith is knowledge. It is not. He said, faith is substance. Faith is evidence, which is not. No believer can go to court and present faith as evidence. The judge or uh, magistrate will send that person to jail. Nowhere in reality except a faith is accepted as currency. Even in their church, they collect money as proof, as evidence, but not faith. When you go there by faith, they say you are stingy. When you go there by faith, they say, they, they say you are not obeying God's word. It's supposed to come with offering. No, God, let them go by faith. Let's see. The pastor does not collect faith from people. He collects money. Because money is substance. Money is evidence. Faith is not. Belief is not. So they lack knowledge. And because they lack knowledge, they don't have solution to any problem. All they want people is to, to be, believe God will heal you. Believe Jesus will heal you. But they don't. It can never happen. That's why they go to hospitals. That's why they die when they're sick. 
None of them have knowledge to solve any problem. But with our common sense, canal people, we have no, there's no power greater than carnality. There's no power greater than nature. You don't need morality, you need humanity. That's what you need in life so you can live humanly and enjoy your life. They wrote those commandments of God to keep you enslaved. No God gave any commandment at any time. It is evil people writing for God and using God to enslave the brain of people. I'm happier that I free myself and some people are waking up, freeing themselves from that bondage of God and Jesus. We need it. I was considered, I said, I think I may do morning cry in my village. The, the spot I used to do morning cry, I may do morning cry now to tell them that there is no God and Jesus. Because I used to preach God and Jesus to them. Morning cry. Preaching everywhere, in crusades, in seminars. Not knowing I was preaching the lie white people sold to us. So you see these people, they are not only bold, ignorant fools. They are also nasty sheep. They are sheep with nasty, nasty attitude. Because you don't believe in their God, they are nasty. And they are against you. They begin to call you names. Instead of letting their God to speak for itself, instead of letting their God to fight for itself, they are the ones speaking and fighting for God by faith. Because none of them will go to wherever they say they believe. If there is heaven they, they truly believe in, they will not be like uh, uh, fighting to stay alive or being afraid because when the Yashon of gone, they run away. They are afraid of kidnappers. Most of them cannot be in their village as I am in my own village. Because they are afraid, they may be kidnapped, they may be killed. And these are people that believe in God Almighty, Jesus bullshit. And the truth must prevail when we continue preaching the truth. These people are gullible and very passive group of cowards. That's what they are. They don't have knowledge. That's why they cannot solve any problem. The people with knowledge solve problems. And the truth must prevail, factual truth, which we continue spreading without fear, without favor, and without faith. God in me.